This is the 10th problem on the practice uh, sheet. This is the 10th graphing problem on the, on the practice sheet for pre-calc T4. And we're gonna sketch graph this thing. And what I notice is I got a midline right there. So midline is at negative 253. And then I also know my stretch, my vertical stretch is, is 18. So it'll be 18 in this direction and 18 in this direction. So if I add 18, uh, 253, I get negative uh, 235, yeah. That'll be where my maxes are at. If I subtract 18 from this, I get uh, negative 271. I also notice that it's cosine. So since it's cosine, cosine, uh, it has a the zero that, that gets moved, oh, my pen. there we go, the zero that gets moved uh, starts at the top, comes down, starts at a max, and then comes back up. So my cosine shape looks like this. I'm going to build it off of there. And, uh, you know, I know that it shifted right 10. Like, I know that this point is going to be the point 10, negative 235. Um, but what I need to do is figure out the period so I can figure out what these other points are. So typical period is 2 pi. And I notice that um, I'm this is my multiplier. So I'm going to divide 2 pi by that. So 2 pi over 13. Uh, the 2 pi is going to cancel out. This is the same as uh, 2 pi times 13 over 2 pi. Divide in by a fraction the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. 2 pi divided by 2 pi is 13. So my period for the shape is 13. So that means that uh, typically, this thing would go from 0 to 13. So we're defining this sort of a phase shift up there is there. So as I think about this one, uh, starting at 0, going out to 13. Oh, my pen is plugged in. Uh, half of 13 is. Uh, 12, 6.5. Half of 6.5 is a 3.25. So I know that um, that that 3.25, that's that's the length of my jump there. So if I add 3.25 to 6.5, uh, I'm going to end up with 9.75. So there's my kind of points before I do the shift. But I'm moving everything right 10. So I need to add 10 to everything. So this would be a 10, this would be a 13.25, 16.5, 19.75, 19 and 23. So my, there are my x coordinates for this, and I already know my y's. So the first one I already know is 10, and it's at that height. So my next one is a 13.25, and it's at this height of negative 253. My next one is 16.5 at the side of negative 271. Then I've got a 19.75 uh, back at this midline of, of negative 253. And then this max here is at 23, negative 235. And there is yet another beautiful, lovely, gorgeous graph.